Stamped, Racism, Anti-Racism, and You by Ibram X. Kendi and Jason Reynolds This is not a history book. This is a book about the here and now, a book to help us better understand why we are where we are, a book about race. The construct of race has always been used to gain and keep power, to create dynamics that separate and silence. This remarkable reimagining of Dr. Ibram X. Kendi's National Book Award winning Stamped from the Beginning reveals the history of racist ideas in America and inspires hope for an anti-racist future. It takes you on a race journey from then to now, shows you why we feel how we feel, and why the poison of racism lingers. It also proves that while racist ideas have always been easy to fabricate and distribute, they can also be discredited. This book is anti-racist. 20 lessons on how to wake up, take action, and do the work. By Tiffany Jewell. Gain a deeper understanding of your anti-racist self as you progress through 20 chapters that spark introspection, reveal the origins of racism that we are still experiencing, and give you the courage and power to undo it. Each chapter builds on the previous one as you learn more about yourself and racial oppression. 20 activities get you thinking and help you grow with the knowledge. All you need is a pen and paper. When they call you a terrorist, a story of Black Lives Matter and the power to change the world by Patrice Kahn Kohlers, and Asha Bendele. From one of the co-founders of the Black Lives Matter movement comes a poetic memoir and reflection on humanity. Necessary and timely, Patrice Kahn Kohler's story asks us to remember that protest in the interest of the most vulnerable comes from love. Leaders of the Black Lives Matter movement have been called terrorists, a threat to America, but in truth, they are loving women whose lives' experiences have led them to seek justice for those victimized by the powerful. In this meaningful, empowering account of survival, strength, and resilience, Kullers and Asha Bendele seek to change the culture that declares innocent Black life expendable. It's Trevor Noah, born a crime, Stories from a South African Childhood Trevor Noah, host of The Daily Show on Comedy Central, shares his remarkable story of growing up in South Africa with a black South African mother and a white European father at a time when it was against the law for a mixed-race child to exist. But he did exist, and from the beginning, the often misbehaved Trevor used his keen smarts and humor to navigate a harsh life under a racist government. In a country where racism barred blacks from social, educational, and economic opportunity, Trevor surmounted staggering obstacles and created a promising future for himself thanks to his mom's unwavering love and indo indomitable will. Just Mercy, a true story of the fight for justice by Brian Stevenson. Acclaimed lawyer and social justice advocate, Brian Stevenson offers a glimpse into the lives of the wrongfully imprisoned and his efforts to fight for their freedom. Stevenson's story is one of working to protect basic human rights for the most vulnerable people in American society, the poor, the wrongly convicted, and those whose lives have been marked by discrimination and marginalization. Through this adaptation, young people of today will find themselves called to action and compassion in the pursuit of justice. You Are Mighty, A Guide to Changing the World by Carolyn Paul. Being a good citizen means standing up for what's right, and here's just a way to start. This Kid's Guide to Activism is the perfect book for those with a fierce sense of justice, a good sense of humor, and a big heart. 
This guide features change maker tips, tons of DIY activities, and stories about the kids who have paved the way before, from famous activists to the everyday young people whose habit changes triggered huge ripple effects. So make a sign, write a letter, volunteer, sit in, or march. There are lots of tactics to choose from, and you're never too young to change the world. How I Resist, Activism and Hope for a New Generation, edited by Maureen Johnson. Now more than ever, young people are motivated to make a difference in a world they're bound to inherit. They're ready to stand up and be heard. But with much to shout about, where do they begin? What can I do? How can I help? How I Resist is the response and a way to start the conversation, to show readers that they are not helpless and that anyone can be the change. This is a collection of essays, songs, illustrations, and interviews about activism and hope. Kid Activists, True Tales of Childhood from Champions of Change by Robin Stevenson. Every activist started out as a kid, and in some cases, they were kids when their activism began. But even the world's greatest champions of civil liberties had relatable interests and problems, often in the middle of extraordinary circumstances. Little Leaders, Bold Women in Black History by Vashti Harrison. Among these women, you'll find heroes, role models, and everyday women who did extraordinary things. Bold women whose actions and beliefs contributed to making the world better for generations of girls and women to come. Whether they were putting pen to paper, soaring through the air, or speaking up for the rights of others, the women profiled in these pages were all taking a stand against a world that didn't always accept them. The leaders in this book may be little, but they all did something big and amazing, inspiring generations to come. Make Trouble Standing Up, Speaking Out, and Finding the Courage to Lead by Cecile Richards with Lauren Peterson From the time Richards was a girl, she had a front row seat to observe the rise of women in American politics. And by sharing her story with young readers, she shines a light on the people and lessons that have gotten her through good times and bad and encourages her audience to take risks, make mistakes, and make trouble along the way. We Are Displaced, My Journey and Stories from Refugee Girls Around the World by Malala Yousafzai. In a time of immigration crises, war, and border conflicts, We Are Displaced is an important reminder from one of the world's most prominent young activists that every single one of the 68.5 million currently displaced is a person, often a young person, with hopes and dreams. Malala, My Story of Standing Up for Girls' Rights by Malala Yousafzai Malala's powerful memoir of risking her life for the right to go to school is now abridged and adapted for chapter book readers. Raised in a changing Pakistan by an enlightened father from a poor background and a beautiful, illiterate mother, Malala was taught to stand up for what she believes. Her story of bravery and determination in the face of extremism is more timely than ever. Finish the Fight, The Brave and Revolutionary Women Who Fought for the Right to Vote by Veronica Chambers Who was at the forefront of women's right to vote? We know a few famous names, like Susan B. Anthony, but what about so many others from diverse backgrounds? Black, Asian, Latinx, Native American, and more, who helped lead the fight for suffrage? What would she do? 
25 True Stories of Trailblazing Rebel Women by Kay Woodward From historic world leaders to brilliant scientists, artists, and modern-day pioneers, What Would She Do shares 25 incredible women's stories that educate and empower. Never Too Young 50 Unstoppable Kids Who Made a Difference by Eileen Weintraub the 50 kids profiled in Never Too Young will inspire and empower young readers. Some, like Anne Frank, Ruby Bridges, and Stevie Wonder, are prominent figures, while others are lesser known, though their achievements are just as compelling. They come from a variety of historical periods and backgrounds and have made an impact in politics, sports, the arts, science, and more.